brothers and sisters of the celestial energy. It's brother wisdom. We're going to talk about the key to pure rage and fury. And this is something that is a heart touching video because many of our people don't understand how to link into that rage and fury. How to get there? How do you get there? How do you how do you allow this powerful energy that that's within you to come out? Your rage and fury is girded by sadness and grief. Just the pure fact that the activities going on on our planet being enough should be enough sadness. But when you have been asleep for so long and you finally awaken, at first when you awaken, you are in a state of shock because you're like, oh my goodness, all of this has been going on and I can't believe this. I can't believe all of this has been going on and 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 I, I, I've been sleeping in, in, under this spell, thinking that I was doing something so right when everything else is going so wrong. When you finally link it to yourself and, and realize who you are as nature, realize that we were created by the very essence of our planet, this, this powerful act, atomic structure called Kai, and you begin to scan the whole world. You begin to scan the whole world and, 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 and see what's going on. See how they're messing with the weather, making the planet cold, part of the planet cold, part of the planet hot, setting the, the, the complete uh, uh, biological structure of the planet out of balance. You see, as you scan the world and you see the landfills, mountains of trash just piled up, and these nasty, filthy beings on our planet says, "Oh yeah, you know we're making money off the methane, but we got a, you got a mountains of trash that's going nowhere." When you see how they enslave the original animals and put them in cages so that everybody can pay a few pieces of paper to, to look at the animals and you see how sad they are. You see how uncomfortable they are. When you scan the, the land and you see the people, you say, why are, we, why are the people working? Why are we working? What, what is, what's going on? So that we can be enslaved into a system and 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 get pieces of paper and then pay piece, people pieces of paper back so that we can have food and water and electricity. When you remember what the planet originally was before you returned and was put into a deep sleep when you were just a newborn baby. When you scan through the planet and land and you see all of our people in cages called prisons, and you learn that 85% of them are innocent of things that they didn't even do, and others are in there because they were under a spell, and they did something that was under the cosmic order, even though they were under a spell. <laughs> you, 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 you think, then you go to another part of the world and you see our people enslaved by their own people digging for diamonds and gold so that someone else who call themselves powerful on the land can appear powerful and they kill our people 
if they hold on to things and they kill them if they don't work hard enough. They chop off body parts. You know, you, you scan the land and you see. You scan the land and you see all the poisons in the, in the oceans. The nuclear energy that they creating and, 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 and they got nuclear waste. That's just garbage waste that's been filtered into the waters and how the sea life is dying. When you scan the planet and you see them taking the shrimp and the lobster, the catfish, all the other fish out of the ocean that keeps the waters pure and powerful. But they take them all out because they want to eat something and then you got our people who you know, don't care. When you scan the land and you see our people who don't care. Our people who don't care about nature, about the very nature that created them from the beginning. Our people don't care. When you see this, and you see they care more about uh, uh, God and Jesus, a church building, a pair of shoes, a pair of glasses, a football game, a basketball game. When you see they care more about uh, um, clothes. You see they care more about that job position. More about that car. More about that watch. <laughs> Primitive things than what they care about nature. You scan the land and you see all this. They care more about religion, Jehovah, God, Allah. They, not, they don't care about the, the, the planet. They don't care about the very nature that created them. Now, when you have fully assessed everything, and this is not even everything that I'm talking about. This is not even everything. They're killing the animals left and right for sport. When you have assessed everything and you finally come out of your state of shock and you go into a deep sadness and grief, this is what activates your rage and fury. That sadness, that grief, that deep down uh, 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 feeling of distastement, that, that, that thing that, that was like, it's like, why? Why are they doing this? Where did they come from? I want them dead. I want all of them to dead. This is what activates your rage and your fury. It's sadness and grief. You have fully assessed everything. You see how they kill the original people of the land and have a law created saying that they can do whatever they want to do. How they slaughter us. <laughs> don't care nothing about their people is our people the original people they really don't care about so scared of us because they know who we are and they know the potential power that we can dish out to them this is what activates your rage of fury when you finally shed that first tear when you finally shed that first tear of sadness and grief after your state of shock. This is what takes you into that powerful area of rage and fury. Now you begin to build yourself up to a more powerful being because you will want to exert the most powerful force that you can push outside of your body because now you are in the now. You're in, you're in the now, you're in the no that you know that you are nature, that you know that you are the most powerful being, that you know that you were created by this planet to protect this planet, and you were put into a sleep, and you're saddened that you were put to sleep by an enemy who violated every cosmic law, every universal law, every galactic law, every planetary law that they could possibly violate with the full knowledge of the violation, and they still do what they want to do. This is your grief. This is your sadness. This is your root, your key to your rage and fury. This is what takes you into that level of I 
want vengeance. I want to use every level of power from my uh, uh, powerful quantum uh, 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 molecular body to destroy these beings who are here setting up their laws, their rules, doing whatever they want to do. This is what activates your rage and fury. Some people say, well, you know, we just let nature do our thing. No, no, it's not we let nature do a thing. Nature created us to do our thing. That's the whole key point. That's what a lot of us don't realize. So many of our people are, are laxed and relax and think that everything is just, you know, beautiful and wonderful. And 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 I got money and I got cars and I got I got this big house. I got all these nice clothes. Who said the clothes are nice? Who made the clothes? Our brothers and sisters who were locked up in the prison system. And you're enjoying the labor of someone who's forced to do this labor, because if they don't do it, then they're just gonna get locked up and put into a dark room for a whole week with no light, solitary confinement. Understand that the key to your true rage and fury sadness and grief this is what takes you into that level of absolute supreme power this is what takes you to that point of no return don't waste your rage and fury trying to fight little battles don't waste it trying to fight little battles you wait till it's time for war that's when you exert all the energy that you possibly can exert. And then you have a flow of energy coming to you as you fighting. You have unlimited uh, 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 weaponry all around you, within you. Everything that you know, everything that you got will come out of your body so that you can bring forth the true vengeance that's supposed to be executed upon those who will offset the balance of the planet, the people, and nature. Okay, guys? So, just want to share this video with you guys here. This is the roots of your rage and fury. This is the root of your rage and fury. The root of your rage and fury is your sadness and grief. It's your discontentment. That's the root of your rage and fury to see that they're spraying the sky to make the, 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 the air cold, hiding the sun from, from, from the planet. That grieves me. That grieves me. You don't want to move ahead of the energy though. You want to wait just the right time when the energy flows and everyone will know what time it is, especially those who are fully awakened. Everyone would know. You have to have a heart for nature. You have to have a heart for the planet. You can't be just uh, 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 sublime. You literally have to be in a state of grief and sadness saying, I know what my planet is supposed to be like. I know who we're supposed to be. And I don't see this. And I am saddened by this. And I am saddened to see that my people, the original people don't care. Divide and conquer. You divide the people from nature, from the very planet that created them. And you conquer the entire planet. And that's what's going on. That's what's happened. They have divided us, not from ourselves, that they have divided us from nature. Nature alone. This is what they divided us from. And this is how they said that they conquered because our people are so caught up in every other primitive piece of crap that we don't even know that we are the most advanced beings on the planet. We don't know that we're supposed to be fighting for nature, yet we're fighting for a piece of paper with a white man's face on it, fighting for a pair of glasses with a white man's name on it, fighting for a pair of pants with a white man's name on it. Huh? Destroying each other for their garbage. The fact that our planet 
has become a planet of garbage. If it doesn't sadden you, I don't know what will. This is the root. This is the root of your rage and your fury, your sadness and grief. That's all for now, guys. All power to the multi-chakra celestial energy beings. Peace to you all.